So, guys, this is the $300 million. I'm joking. It's $300 three-game tournament. This is the FFA. All the players are named the same. All the players will be using random colors every game. The players don't know who they are. It is against the rules to ask the players. It is Damn against hard. the rules to... To, to try to figure out who the players are. I told them try not to chat with the other players so that nobody knows who you are in the lobby. The first blood in every game will be two points. Each kill after that is giving one point. If you win the game through elimination, you get one point. So if you are two players remaining and you kill the last guy, you get one point for killing him and one point for winning the game. If you win with a sacred site or a wonder, at the time of the wonder building, or wonder finishing, sorry, and at the time of the sacred site capture, if there are four players alive, you will get a point for winning with wonder or winning with sacred site, and you will get the amount of points as many players are there alive at that moment. So if you capture the sacred site and there, there's uh, all three sacred sites and the timer starts running, at the time of the capture, if there was four players alive, if you win with the sacred site, you will get four points, even if one of the players dies during the sacred time uh, timer happening. The spawning positions are pretty spread out, and I can't even introduce the players because I don't know who the players are. I mean, I know the eight players, but I actually do not know who the players are, and we already got some aggression over here from red and purple. Uh-oh, and the villager might go down. We don't have rules for the villager killing. You can kill villagers, you can be aggressive, and the red TC gets canceled minus one worker. So I actually genuinely don't know, by the way, right now, who the players are. You know, they all have the same name, and I invited them in random order. So we got the FFA Gamer Pink over here. We got the FFA Purple Gamer over here. We got the Red Gamer uh, uh, over here playing as the Ottoman. So we got Ottoman, we got English, we got Order of the Dragon, pink, right here. On the middle, uh-oh. Wait, how does that not see? Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Dude, he doesn't see! Oh, well, he's gonna see now for sure. Oh, he's gonna see now. Okay. He's gonna see. He's gonna get shot. Teal needs to cancel this. Or, is he going to cancel? He's gonna try to... Fi he needs to run. He needs to run right now. He's gonna try to tower. It's already starting off as a clown fiesta. He needs to cancel and he needs to run. Green already ahead. China, by the way, obviously really good because they build TCs faster. In the top, we got Japanese, the orange, teal molding right now. Green is building a dock, but he doesn't actually know. Uh, oh, there is deep water actually right here. Uh, teal is walling off and he's bailing. He thinks he's going to get chased by the villagers. He is not. And now teal has to run somewhere and he has no fucking clue where to go. For his sake, I hope he goes south. If he goes to the east, he's going to find the blue ottoman and the yellow deli there it is that is the setup and teal might end up in the best position if he runs further down he's actually going to be in the best position after the worst start but obviously you don't want to be starting by canceling your tc so uh yeah orange is in a pretty good spot too he's got the fishing by the way i just want to say the new water in aoe4 look at that beauty look at that beauty i don't even play on max settings by the way I don't even play on max settings. Are these preceded maps? No, I did not precede the maps. I want this to be mega random as FFA and as mega random as possible. Uh, okay, Teal actually, unironically, uh, this would have been a terrible spawn because he would be in between okay. yellow, blue, and green and kind of orange, and now he is on his own. If he just does a wall like this, uh, he has whole side of the map for himself. Green, very spicy, deciding to place TC right on the middle. He doesn't give a shit. And now we see red. Uh, wait, what? 
Okay, he cannot fish this, but he can fish that. So red not only gets a villager killed, but he also decides to go back and build a dock on that pond. Maybe he's just gonna make up dock and just grief purple. Like, he's gonna maybe upgrade a dock into air slits. I don't know. Do they see the score? Yes. So, I think for FFA in general, and this is how we did tournaments too, um, it makes... Oh, by the way, Teal is French. I don't know if I mentioned it. Uh, we do uh, do show score so that mid to late game, you can see if one player is way further ahead than the other players. Um, so that... Um, so that they can maybe focus that player and, you know, dent him in or something. Uh, yellow... Wait, yellow made a dock all the way here. I guess there was no space to put a dock here. And the top side has one fish only. Dude, look at that beach. God damn, girl. Yo! Yellow pulled the boar onto the blue villagers and paid with it with his life. Sacre bleu. And that's a, that's a rough loss, by the way. Losing a scout in an FFA is not good. I've been there. I ran my scout into the enemy before. It is not good. Red is house popped right now. And next to him is English. Which, by the way, I mentioned already. If English decides to push him really fast. He is already behind. Because he lost a villager. So not a great spot. So Red, probably second worst start right now. Teal, probably the worst. But if the game goes on, he's going to be in a good spot. Um... Orange is chilling. Orange got those cheap fishing ships. If you don't know, Japanese has fishing ships that cost 45 wood. So he is already on seven fishing ships. And uh, Teal as well is enjoying some water over here too. I'm pretty sure this can be crossed. Yeah, this can be crossed, I think, by the fishing ships. A piece of things for her 17 gifted rudder. Thank you, thank you. And we reach 5.6k subs. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you so much. So this map is a bit wild. There's a lot of water. Uh, there's a lot of water happening. Emery, thanks so much for 10 gifted. Thank you guys for all the gifted subs and the support. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. If you're watching on YouTube, tune into Twitch. I am. I have been live for nine days straight. Uh, well, depending when you watch this. If you watch this in like a month. Um, yeah. So, um, I probably might be, probably will be still live at the time you're watching this. Alright. Yeah, it's been, this is day number nine. Day nine. Day nine TV. Shut up. And, and purple is going. He's burning the red dock. And purple is already aging up with council hall with five villagers. He wants to snack on red's cheeks. And I don't know what red does here, to be honest. Like, red is just not in a very good spot. He's gonna go for the gold now. But, you know, the longbows are gonna be coming for sure. And that's gonna be a really, really rough one for him. He, like, I wonder what his vision is like. Not great. He knows there's two players around him. So I don't even know what you do is red here. Uh, because purple is about to age up. Maybe walling off would help him defend a little bit. But if purple really decides to go-go for him, this is going to be a really, really uh, bad start for his FFA gaming career. Now, Teal recognizes what I mentioned earlier. He sees, okay, there's players in the top. There's no one at the bottom. He is walling off this immediately. Because red, uh, purp uh, sorry, uh, blue and yellow will probably be fighting each other. We see Twin Minaret happening right here. Uh, we see Dome of the Faith for Delhi. We see Barbecue opening. So not even Imperial Academy, just Barbecue for safety. We see Mindwork for the Order of the Dragon coming in. Chapel, not very good, especially not in FFAs. And red is getting dented in already. So pretty rough start. We're gonna see what he plans to do. Uh, Koka ta Township is coming. I'm a bit surprised that he's going with uh, Shinobis. Again, I don't know who this is. So I don't know how spicy this guy is. But going for Shinobis, he's gonna be able to do some harassment. But um, I guess long term, 
Shinobi's not great, but maybe he's gonna try to push in red. And red is deciding to bail. Red is going to bail all the way here to the bottom. Let me see his vision. So he knows that green is here because he has scouted through here. So he's going to go all the way to the bottom to try and survive. And uh, if purple sees this, the best thing purple can do is actually just not push. Just like start booming. But purple needs to actually see this because now if purple commits to like a shit ton of units, he's actually pushing nothing, right? He's pushing a guy that's leaving that side of the map. Now the villagers are coming, green is gonna see this, green is China, so he has an option. Oh god, oh god, don't. Oh god, he is, he doesn't give a f oh my god, he doesn't give a fuck. Dude, he doesn't give a fuck, he's going for it. On this side, the ships are going down, the villagers, good micro, doesn't lose a single one. Kaka Township is out, and where did they shinobi go? I have no idea. Oh, Shinobi are in the villager line and Red is not having a good good game right now. He is balding. I kind of wish I knew who the players were because I'm kind of wondering who Red is right now. If it's like a more of a calm player or he's more of a Malder and Red is going to go all the way down. And I think that's a good choice. Now, why is this a good choice? Well, let me tell you. Teal scouted already the bottom side of the map. He's not gonna scout there again. Now, if Red sees that there's a dock, he should not go next to the dock. He might see the dock. If he sees the dock, he should not go next to the dock. He's gonna see it. He should reposition this like here or something and not trying to interact with, with Teal at all. Because if Teal knows he's there, yeah, he cancels it and repositions it. That's a good choice. So now Red might be there whole game without Teal ever knowing. And as Red, just chill and just do nothing. Don't bother. Don't try to engage. Don't try to do nothing. Just try to survive for now. That's his best choice. We see uh, green over here with OTD having like a stare off. Although OTD doesn't care about there. He is aging up with Regnets. How many relics? I see two relics right next to OTD. One above right here. One under. That's a good start. And then there's four more relics on the middle. Five, fifth one at the top. So I think that's seven relics total, if I am not mistaken. Yes, the players do see the score. Delhi is going for... I don't know what Delhi is going for. Delhi is fishing. Oh, these guys have been fighting. Okay. Guys, this is going to be very hard to keep track of. These are, this is not just an FFA. These are the best FFA players. These guys, by the way, just so you know, they might not... Uh-oh, Teal is walling him. Oh, Teal doesn't know, but Teal is walling in red right now. Or red's landmark, at least. Now, these guys might not be the top eight players in ATR. Some of them might be. But these guys are the best FFA players, I guarantee you. In the world. That's right. So, we got... Green is in castle and green is making Lancers. I think I know who this is. Uh, I think I know who green is. Just based on the style. But I am not sure and I'm not going to predict anything. Here we go. The demo. Yo, how the fuck did this dog come in here? He made a dog next to his freaking dog on this side. And... Orange is just, orange doesn't give a shit. Orange aged up with fast floating gates, so he's gonna be snacking some relics. And he is massing veteran samurai. Now you might be wondering why is he going for red? Well, he probably tried to snipe red before red aged up, but now red is out of there. He is safe and he will not be dying. And you can see that orange and purple might be fighting over who's gonna get to eliminate red. So Red is going to uh, make a TC right here. Teal has the Knights, but I don't know if Teal knows that there's a TC here yet. Yellow and blue are fighting on the water. It's funny, they're next to each other, but they're fighting on the water over the food eco. No second TC for either player, and they're both in feudal still. On the top, we see that Veteran Samurai have dented in. Oh god, and they're both just banging him. 
right now. That, that's a lot of veteran samurai, by the way. If I'm purple, I would probably stop trying to kill red. I would probably instead try to uh, have a plan how to deal with these because I think that if you're orange and you realize, oh, he's not here anymore, you. They're trying to find him, by the way. You can see the orange is sending a scout. You probably try to defend uh, your base as. Uh, uh, what's it called? As purple. And if I'm orange, I just fucking go. Some shinobis right here. I just go as orange into purple's base because I don't think purple is ready at all. There's ha action everywhere, by the way. The green is chilling, but green is right now massing lancers and green knows the situation. Or I think he does. Green reminder, saw red earlier on the bottom and he saw that the red landmark has been eliminated. So, if you do some quick maths, green might know that the red landmark is on the bottom. And if he does know that, he will try and go snipe that. Orange and purple are fighting. This is a lot of samurais, by the way. He needs crossbows against this. Like, th this is... Like, knights are countering samurai, but not in this amount. This is way too many samurai. Way, way, way too many samurais for him to deal with. Another TC. Oh, oh. That's not gonna work, brother. There's a knight right there that's gonna prevent that. And samurai are blasting through. Maybe I had a, yeah, a galley or something. Orange is just rallying units. Orange wants the first blood. Now, in these FFAs, by the way, there's two ways you can play them. Order of the Dragon, Gilded Knights. There's two ways you can play competitive FFAs. Number one is you can boom and you can go for a wonder victory or for, you know, a lot of economy and then try to win later on, killing more players. Or the first, or the second style, sorry, which is get fishing boom and just mass men at arms or mass knights and just eliminate a player extremely fast to get the two points. So you can go for like a feudal all in with rams, kill a guy, you get two points, even if you lose after, it is what it is, but the first kill does give two points, so there's a lot of incentive to try to eliminate someone. We do see compounded defender versus Ottoman over here. And Ottoman is holding on, but both players obviously took a lot of damage on land. And now blue has only this wood line to go. These guys are still fighting purple in a little bit of trouble. And when I say a little bit, in a lot of bit of trouble. These shinobis got plus two ranged armor. He's just now producing crossbows a little bit late. So not sure how that one's gonna work out. And Teal finds the landmark. Okay, if, so this is the thing, if Teal eliminates Red, that is Teal's kill. Because Red would have survived and he would not have gotten eliminated by Orange nor Purple if Teal didn't kill him. Now, if, you know, if the situation was a bit different, if everyone was attacking right here and then Teal comes and gets one hit, that would not be his kill because he was going to get eliminated anyway. But in this situation, this kill would go to Teal because there's nobody else even close to it. Orange and purple dealt a lot of damage to red, but they did not kill him. So that's how the points will be awarded. So I'm just making sure everyone understands and we're all on the same page. Delhi is now in castle. There's Sipahi running around, Ottoman is still in the Feudal Age, and English is, I mean, I don't know if he's stabilizing, because the Shinobis are dying, but, I mean, are they dying? There's four barracks just queued up, a fuck ton of Shinobis just going at it. J uh, Japanese also has a, another TC, and over here we see green charging in with billion Chinese Lancers into the OTD Gilded Knights. And Gilded Knights, look how much damage they do per hit, by the way. Look how much damage they're doing to the fucking Lancers. Oh my god. They are getting... The Lancers from the China are getting butchered right now. That was so many more Lancers from China. And the OTD Knights are holding. Now, I love that. He's positioning here, so he has less surface area for the Chinese Green Gamer. So that his Gilded Knights get more value. Over here, we do see more stuff happening. On the bottom, 
Red is trying to repair his landmark, he's trying to make Spearman, but I think Red might be going down. The blue Sipaki over here, there's shit everywhere happening. Next game, I'm telling these guys to calm the fuck down a little bit. I'm old. And, oh, le sacre bleu, the teal is repairing the wall. And Red will get eliminated by teal. Listen, he had a very... Teal plus two points, first blood. Listen, red, unfortunate spawn. Teal, also unfortunate spawn. And sometimes this just happens where the cookie just falls into your hand and you snack on that cookie. And in this case, Teal's got a shit spawn over here. Shit start rather, not a shit spawn. And well, red has made a landmark in his base basically, so. GG's. Red is out. And still, I don't know who Red is, by the way, so I can't even tell you. But we'll see after the game is done. China, still massing Lancers, by the way. FFA, by the way, I don't know who's aging up, because it says FFA Gamer has reached Imperial. Okay, we do see Japanese has reached Imperial age. Who do you guys think was the Red player who just died? Give me some guesses in the chat. Even though you guys don't know who the eight players are, just give me some guesses. Uh, we can we can have <laughs> saying core. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are like so. It's like one person is typing thirty times. Everyone's just saying core. We do see lancers are not going for teal. Green is changing. Now the reason why green might be changing is there might be two reasons. Reason number one. He cannot kill OOTD, so he said fuck it. And reason number two, he saw that Teal eliminated Red. And if you want to kill someone who is ahead on points, you have to do it in the game you're currently playing. Which means that in the next game, people will not know who Teal is. This is very, very important for the end of it, okay? Um... So if you want to kill the player who has the most points and not allow him to get more points, they should kill Teal right now. I leaked Core. I did accidentally leak Core, but you guys know I would invite Core into an FFA. Come on, Core plays FFAs all the time. Okay, there you go. There's one out of eight players. But I'm not gonna say... I don't know actually who it is, so we'll see. Alright. Oh, what the hell? I thought I crashed there. Did you guys see the, the spikes? We'll know from the molding. I mean, I wish we could see the chat. Yeah, just assume all the players are core in this lobby. Okay, we do see gilded knights and gilded land shits are coming into purple. And purple, uh-oh. Purple got banged by orange pretty bad and now... He is about to get Gilded Knight as well at the same time. The Gilded Knights are coming. The demo ship? Oh, that's not going to do a lot against the Knights. And uh, he is looking pretty, pretty dead right now. He did stabilize, but he is losing army in masses right now. In absolute destruction. And we do see Ozutsu are coming in, and Ozutsu are obviously strong as fuck. Now, we'll see what's gonna happen with the two armies. FFA Gamer has reached Castle, I have no idea who that is. Maybe that is Ottoman that just aged up. We do see some trebbing happening on this side. The Japanese is coming in with the Elite Samurai. Pink is running away to the other side. He is bailing out of there because he saw trillion samurais coming in and i think orange is just gonna go for the landmark sniper now pink could have stayed there but he 100 percent loses all the units so he wants to save his army because once purple is eliminated pink is going to be the next on the chopping block especially if you contest him which means that the orange if he eliminates purple right now and purple is castle that will be one point for the orange orange is oh sorry uh, uh 1 point for the orange, purple is out. On this side, 
Blue has taken the water, so yellow is no longer on water. Yellow is building keeps towards the middle. He's got some fishes right here. Orange has quarter of the map for himself. Meanwhile, on the bottom side, the green lancers are coming in in masses. Plus orange, plus one point from killing purple. From killing... I gotta keep track of this now, guys, because I will forget. I'm old. Um, and... Green is just, he just wants to kill Pink Man. He just wants to kill someone and he is going for it again. The Gilded Knights, they do have Inspired Warrior buff and Orange, I mean, he's next in the chopping block. And Pink did go back to try to not lose the army so he can defend himself, but Orange is coming. Green is surprisingly losing, actually Green just lost his whole army. Holy shit, okay. Tip number one. Gilded Castle Knights just demolished Imperial Knights. So do not, do not attempt that trade. Do not attempt that trade at all. Green goes back and Orange quickly executes Pink. Now, the question, I, I feel like this is, this is Orange's kill. Yes? Green has been like has been fighting with him, but I wouldn't say Green has been killing him the whole game, because Pink was more than fine there. He just defended himself completely there. Yeah, Green killed the army, but he did not kill the player. Like the question is always, if Orange wasn't there, would Pink have died? And I don't think he would have. I think Green just lost his whole army, and Pink would have been more than fine. So, I'll think about it, but in my opinion, that is a point for Orange. Um, because Pink, like I said, would have survived. Now, if, if uh, Pink lost his whole army and was actively dying to Green, and then Orange comes and snipes the landmarks, then I would give them uh, at least a 50-50. Orange is just blasting through. So I'm just I'm just explaining this so you guys know how we are awarding the points. Because I think if the orange was not there, green would have not killed pink anytime soon. He just green just lost like 40 lancers uh, in the base. Green is now fighting against mass elite samurai. There's more elite mass samurai coming in from this side, and orange is just plowing through them one by one. Green has tried to snipe Teal, he's tried to snipe Pink multiple times or kill Pink multiple times, did not work out. On this side, these two guys are still fighting. Two landmarks are down by the way, Delhi is pushing for the last landmark and I think Delhi is going to try to snipe the landmarks. The spearmen are coming in, everything is coming in, as you can see the keep is going to go down and Yellow is clicking on that Mechmen Imperial Armory, he wants that booty, meanwhile in the middle of the map these guys are denting and this FFA is going fast as hell. The orange is basically cleaning up the lobby. Technically he kind of dented in red pretty badly, but Teal did get him. Blue is steering right now, he's trying to repair that landmark, but it is not working out too, too great. And uh, green right now. TC goes down, the Imperial Palace is looking like it's gonna go down. I'm not sure where he's going with the villagers. He looks like he's gonna try to burn something. There's a landmark over here from green, by the way. Okay. He's trying so hard to snipe. Blue is out of wood, he doesn't have any more wood. But the traps are gonna go down as well at the same time. The samurai are plowing everything one at a time. Teal has just been AFK in the bottom, playing some single player, he's got Red Palace. And uh, Teal, looks like in the end we're gonna have Teal versus Orange remaining, because I think everyone else will just get absolutely dented in. The landmark is alive by the way, Blue is still hanging on. Green, got a TC right here, he's not giving up. Green. Okay, I like that. Green is making mass fire lancers and he already has 23. Now, green cannot get eliminated yet 
because there's a landmark here and there's a landmark on the bottom, which Orange does not know about. So it is possible for Green to landmark snipe Orange if Orange just runs away and not show his Lancers. Orange has no walls, zero walls right now. Yellow and blue are still tripping. And now blue almost got landmark snipe. And now blue is trying to landmark snipe yellow in return. Listen, whichever one of these players kills each other, they deserve the point. Let's just say that. They put in the work. The bombards are firing. He should target fire the bombards if he if he sees this. On the top side, 39 fire lancers with armor. Upgraded juice stuff are coming in. The samurais are ready to defend though. And Teal is coming in to snack yellow right now. And if only Teal knew he could snack both of them if he just put his mind to it. Keep is coming in from yellow. He does not want to get eliminated. Who is Teal gonna go for? Does he actually know that blue is also completely dented? He might be trying to stand in between blue and yellow. And he might not realize that they're both in an awful spot. On the middle, Green is getting his landmarks slowly sniped. The Fire Lancers did go back. Green is expanding to the bottom. Teal doesn't know what's on this side of the map, so he's just ignoring it. He's pushing the top side. Okay, so now we see that Teal is trying to block off Blue from eliminating Yellow. He is trying to he's trying to cook. You can see. You can see Blue is now pulling everything because he knows he's probably dead. So all he wants is to try kill Yellow to get a point. That's it. That's all he wants right now. Yellow, I'm not sure if he has any more wood remaining. Let me check. Yellow's got 220 wood. And now he's sending all the villagers on wood. He is on fire. He is burning. I don't know if Teal knows that there's... Teal... Oh, he sees the trebuchet. He sees a trebuchet and he is trying. Yellow is mass repairing. Orange is coming to the bottom to find green, but instead he might find teal. Oh la la, sacre bleu. Yellow is repairing. Now, he does have cannons and cannons are going to be eliminating blue right here. And blue is eliminated by Teal right now. Teal is just snacking on them. And now, last but not least, yellow is next. In my opinion, and you guys in the Twitch chat can say what you think, but I think that teal should get half a point, yellow and blue should also get half a point each. Because they were both basically dead at the time of his arrival. Chat agrees, yellow has been eliminated, and that is going to be a total of three points for Teal, two for first blood, and half a point for each uh, kill right there. Because I think that that was about to be like, one of them was about to be eliminated, right? And if we get into, oh, but technically he got the last kill, then there's gonna be like one of those moments where a guy comes, shoots the landmark, kills it, and then he gets all the points. So, yeah. Thank you. This every phase shorter than a one-on-one uh, -on -one match? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blue and yellow get half a point each. Teal will get one point for those two kills. Not per. Thank you. Um, I think that's fair. Uh, either way, guys, I wanna. I'm, I'm not saying anyone is molding right now in the chat, but obviously there will be some decisions you guys uh, might not agree with. Most of you, uh, some of you will agree, some of you may not. If you don't agree with, I don't care. Host your own tournament and do whatever the fuck you want, punk. Thank you very much. This is just me pre-molding about someone molding. That's right. When you host your own FFA, you can pick however you want to give points. Thank you. <clears throat> so, 
Sometimes you gotta pre-mold. <sighs> anyway, orange is coming in. I need to write down the points. Uh, heal plus one point for blue yellow. Uh, blue. Wait, who killed pink? Pink was killed by orange. Here we go. Orange has found green once again, and this is an army of 62 elite samurai and 10 Ozotsu right now. He's sniping the keeps, and samurai are just plowing through. But all the, are they playing through? They are, because these are fire lancers. I thought all of these are lancers. A lot of them are fire lancers, and Japanese is just. He's literally just. Running through players. Orange watch my guy. Yeah, did you see that? Did you see how Orange protected his siege? That's how you do it. By the way, guys, just so you know, at the end of this, if some player out of these guys, I'm not saying they are, but if they're like molding about, oh, you should have given me a point. I should have been second place and not third, or I should have been third and not fourth. I'll just give them $50. I just want this to be a fun experience, mold free. Thank you very much. So don't worry, no one will be hungry. No one will be, uh, uh, you know, out there molding. It's all gonna be good. We got emergency uh, medical team on standby for each player. Uh, right now, as they're playing, there's a nurse behind them, making sure they're all right due to the amount of points given, due to the amount, due to the spawns, due to everything, because we're professional over here. That's right, no sucking the piss pipe. Hashtag core stuff. Um, it, it's all good. Don't worry about it. We're playing an FFA in a video game. Online, you're watching a dude from Serbia cast it. You know what I mean? It's gonna be all right. Don't worry about it. No matter who wins, guys, life will go on. Trust me, I promise you. It's gonna be all right. We do see Bannerman fighting against Elite Royal Knight one on one. But more important thing is Orange has killed the Spirit Way and he has found the astronomical cock tower that's right you knew you heard what i said clock tower he's kiting a little bit but now orange has his target he knows where he's at and he is resending the units orange just now walling off by the way with some stone walls let's check the uh wonder situation orange has no wonder he is just massing units He's just massing units. Green is massing, trying to survive. Green at 137 supply. Actually, he has way more supply than I thought he would. But now Green's got 30 hand cannoneers, by the way. And Teal on the other side... He is a chef. Why is this neutral trebuchet moving? Okay. Teal is a chef, and he is cooking right now. I'm just saying, okay, he, he did not buy any stone yet. But what he doesn't know is green is about to be dented in. Does he know, actually? No, he does not. He made some scouts to figure out where stuff is. He is attacking orange because he's trying to kill orange. Or harass orange, at least. Ozots, Ozutsu are right here. He does he does not see that. He sees them. Now, if he knew that green might be dying very soon, he would be making a wonder immediately. Because remember, if Teal makes a wonder right now and wins with it, he will get point for a wonder victory and two points for each player alive at the time of the wonder being made. And Samurais are getting dented in right now by the hand cannoneers. Good kiting from the green. He is slowly picking them off. 
And even though green has way less supply here, green has only 30 hand cannoneers or 40 hand cannoneers versus like probably 50, 60 samurais and ozutsu. He is winning, but very, very slowly and not very cost efficient. Green over here, I don't know how did these villagers even get in here. But they're right there chilling. Green keep about to go down the samurai. I've said this before, but Japanese and Imperial is something else. The Samurai are tanky as hell. The Ozutsu are slamming everything. Uh, Orange trying to yoink the relics. Teal prevents. The landmark goes down and there's one more to go, baby. There's one more to go. Now this is what I'm saying, okay? Again, I'm, I'm clarifying this again just so we're ready for game two. If Green loses his whole army, and then Teal comes, and Orange is about to kill the landmark, and then Teal kills it, Orange is gonna get the point because the landmark would have died anyway. Just making sure we are on the same page. And Orange, dude, he's trying so hard. He's trying so hard, look at him. Look at him, he's sending all the Ozutsu, he's ignoring the hand cannoneers, he has lost the battle. And he is so... He is trying! Click it! Click it! He shoots! He sh he sh he sh He lost vision there! Dude, he's probably balding at green right now. He's like, bro, just fucking... Stop fucking running. Just, just let me, just let me eliminate. By the way, you know what's a juicy wall of law? Wall of lawing on the gilded units. Uh, Teal has a massive trade right now. He's getting 90 gold per trade. Oh my god, he's trading all the way from here to this dock. Oof. Oof. And Teal needs to make a wonder, by the way, right now. If he doesn't make a wonder, he's gonna miss an opportunity. Green is on 80 supply right now. He is surviving, he's trying to, his score is very high, but not very high in units. 90 seems low. Well, it's 180 for both, right? You should look at it like that. And that's with no bonuses. Orange has enough for a wonder. All he needs to do is put it down. Again, if he puts down a wonder, not only he prevents from teal sniping green. Oh. Teal is now scouting on the middle and he sees that green's got nothing. Now, I am not sure why he's not just... Does he not know? Wait, does he not know the landmark is right there? Because he keeps trying to scout, and I think he is trying to find green landmarks, but he can't find where they are. Is this repaired? No, th I don't think this is repaired fully, actually. Um, again, it's a lot easier. Oh, there it is. The wonder is coming out. It's a lot easier, by the way, for us to talk about what the player should do and do, and, and like, you know, like how they should play. Like, oh, why doesn't kill Till just kill him? He might not actually know the landmark is there. I am not sure if he scouted it. He does not have vision here. And I, I generally don't know if he is aware. Now, where are the sacred sites? There's a sacred site right here. There's a sacred site right here. And the third sacred site is on the middle. In theory, Teal could capture Sacred Sites right now. The Knights are coming. The Togu Tokugawa, Tokugawa Shrine is coming up. And that this is the Wonder. This is the guy she tells you not to worry about Wonder. He's trying to... Okay, you're not gonna... Come on, stop. Now you're just... Now you're just trying to be spicy. Like, you're not gonna kill that. It's five minutes, come on. Oh, yeah, that's a Kaka Tower. What's up with the Kaka Township? We got a Kaka Tower. And, uh... Japanese, by the way, he's got like... Oh, he doesn't have chemistry! Oh, no! For a Zotsu? Oh, la, la. 
That's a Pepe Den. Now, if Teal reacts immediately, which he is not, he could capture the three sacred sites and he could actually just go ahead and defend the middle one because the other two are inside of his base. So Teal could go for a sacred site victory right now if he realizes what's going on and what's cooking. But he does not and he will be attempting to take down the wonder. Now to be fair, Orange doesn't have the most prepared base to defend the wonder. Now he does have a castle TC right here or uh, keep TC. This TC is also uh, a rocket TC. So he kind of has keep right there, keep right there, keep right there, keep right there. And then from this side, he is walled off. So Teal will be pushing from this side. And I don't know how much green can help, genuinely. Like, I, I think this might be one of those things where it's, it's kind of like... Green is like, I can send units, but I... I mean, 43 hand carriers is a lot, but it's like, he can't push with Teal. And if he pushes alone, he can't destroy anything. Ozutsu are coming, and I think Teal is about to have a really, really bad time with this one. Teal is trying to get on top of the Ozutsu with knights to try and kill him, but they're so tanky as well. These are going to be the units that are going to need an immediate nerf. They got 7 armor. 7-7 seven, seven armor once you upgrade him, and that keep is about to be dented in. And he doesn't have chemistry. If he had chemistry, this would be down already. That goes down. I realize why I'm, I'm feeling very warm, by the way. It's because... Uh, It's because my heater was on. I was like, why am I so... It's getting hot in here. I don't know if it's the plays or what. Alright. Mm-hmm. Teal is gonna attempt, but... You know what would be funny? Ah, oh, but there's no way you can do it. I was gonna say, it'd be kind of funny if green snipes Teal. But this is Red Palace French, that is not gonna happen. <laughs> the Red Palace uh, Arbalest is gonna dent in everything. And by the way, Teal had enough resources for a wonder, but... He was cooking a little bit too long. He was cooking a little bit too long. Orange has no walls. Orange has walls to the side, but he does not have walls here. So technically he could just fire lens this keep down, but he doesn't have enough fire lancers. How many... I mean, he could max out on fire lens. Well, not max out, but he could get a lot of fire lens to try and snipe him. It is possible, actually, especially if he went now. He could fire and snipe him, but yeah, Orange just finishes the tower right on time, and now Orange, yeah, he's gonna know about that. But I don't think that this is enough defense for Orange. Like, if 30, 40 fire lancers run through here, that that wonder is dead. By the way, one thing to know is where is his landmark? This thing, what is it called, Yorishiro? Yorishiro can be put in a wonder. Oh, Mangono. Okay, good amount of damage. I'm pushing right now. Your Ishiro can be put in a wonder. And if you put it in a wonder, the wonder will get 4,000 extra health. Which is quite a lot. I think green, honestly, he should probably wait for more Fire Lancers. And orange? Oh, he just, he just realized. Ah, oh, la, la. Well... Well, he could just run around. Wait, yeah, he just run around. Kick W. And Teal is pushing from this side, by the way. There's the bannerman of the fallen orange army. Now the Ozotsu are on the walls. He needs some cannons. He's got 
He's got mangoes. He's got a lot of stuff coming. And the current wonder tracker is nine and a half minutes. Does Orange have resources? Okay, he does have resources, but that is... That is not a lot of resources, by the way. Look at the... Look what he has queued up. And look what he has got remaining. That is not a lot of resources for nine and a half minutes? And that's a big green army. By the way, green survived for so long and he is going for the landmarks okay so now this is the point where green and teal can say yo i'm going for the landmarks push in right now they can coordinate a little bit and i don't think that orange has the army anymore to kill green's army like these are a lot of these are spearmen they're not pure samurai army anymore 34 spearmen wait does he have any lands any samurais here no these are just Oz Ozotsu spearmen right now. And that is not the army you want uh, in this moment. And right now the teal is pushing in. I don't think this looks very good for orange. I might be coping, but he is kind of running out of resources. Quite hard. Now, green just needs to reinforce with fire lancers. I don't think he even needs to make any high-tech units. Like, just kill production. Let teal do the work, you just kill production. Here we go, the spearmen are engaging. He's trying to fire lance the spears. It's not quite working out how he wants them to. But those spearmen are gonna be cleaned up and two more landmarks are right here. His last landmark is right here on open. So the best thing they can do right now, by the way, at the top, top level in the other phase, you don't go for a wonder if you have enough time. Now, if green, if there was like two minutes remaining, you just YOLO in, right? But if you have time, and these guys know they got eight minutes almost, seven and a half, which is insane amounts of time when you're defending a wonder or attacking a wonder, they should just eliminate the production. Because you don't know if the wonder is walled off. They're probably assuming it is. It's not. But it's easy to say, like, why doesn't green just go with fire lancers? Well, he doesn't know if there's a wall here or not, right? So the best thing you can do is actually just eliminate production buildings. Um, and then by doing that and pushing from two sides, you make it borderline impossible for the enemy to defend. The rams are coming. I wish you had some cannons in here as well to help this. I'm very surprised that Orange is not uh, managing to hold, by the way. Because I thought... I guess it's because I thought Green is more dead than he is. But... Oh, he found the gold. He found the juicy gold. And there's a lot of stone here too. So I thought that green was more dead than he was. He had like 70 supply and now he's 180 supply. Japanese is, guys, he is 100, he's not pop capped and he is out of juice right now. Teal is pushing, there's a lot of siege on this side. Oh, if he lands another fat hit here, that's gonna be a destruction. He just lost like 8 Ozutsu there. He's running away from Springles, he's getting reinforcements, but... He is looking like he's falling apart. Now, green has clockwork battering rams. Most of these are clockwork battering rams. Landmarks are going down. And this is the part where Teal might see landmark is going down, landmark is going down. And he might decide to, like, run past the army because he does not want to miss out on the kill. He does not know where the last landmark is, I think, by the way. He scouted up until here, or maybe he saw it, I'm not sure. But, just so we're clear, if Orange dies right now, both players will be getting half a point each, okay? Because both players put in equal amounts of work, equal amounts of denting, so they will be getting half a point each for eliminating uh, Orange if it's like elimination together. How much time left? We got five minutes. We got five minutes. The walls are falling. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, seven minutes in an FFA, 7.30 is fucking long, man. Like, long, long time. And Orange is trying to rebuild the production. The walls, both sides go down. He has pop cap right now. He did not build the extra houses either. He did dent quite a few players in this lobby, but in the end, he dented himself too. Mm -hmm. 
Fire Lancers are coming in. He's trying to snipe the Springles. Now he's going for the Ozutsu. And they are in. They are in and they're plowing through Orange right now. Look at that beautiful teamwork right there. To take down that wonder. It'd be funny if these Mangles just killed all the hand cannoneers. Enemy attacking Wonder. The Wonder is getting destroyed. Orange taps out. And again, this is one of those where in normal FFA, this would be like, oh, who, who killed them actually? In my opinion, they both did. They legit put equal amounts of work. They're both gonna get half a point each. And now it's a one on one. And as much as I think Green has played a real good game, I, I don't think he's gonna win this one. I would be very surprised. I would be very, very surprised because I don't know what. Okay, I, I was gonna say, I don't know if Teal is. <laughs> Wait, you know what's funny? Teal doesn't know where Green's base is because if he knew, he would build a wonder on the top, right? Or he would at least build it here. But he's actually building Wonder like the closest <laughs> to Green. And uh, Teal should probably go kill these Rams actually. Yeah, Teal is running, he's beelining to the bottom. Green is already trying to break the walls. Obviously they know like this, you know, this is it kind of thing. So, whoa, 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 Ozutsu are farming, hold up. Oh, there was gold in Japanese base, full gold. <clears throat> So at the time of making the wonder, Teal, obviously there was one player alive. So if Teal wins with the wonder, at this point, it doesn't matter if he wins with a wonder or elimination. He will get one point for winning and one point for the player. So just to make it clear, he is not getting one point for winning, one point for wonder and one point for player. He's getting one point for wonder, one point for player for a total of two. Um... Because in the past, when we did some of the FFA stuff, if the winning gave too many points, too many players would camp for the late game. Right? Because the if, if like winning gives five points, then it makes no sense for you to attack early. You should just camp and, and go to late game and try to win. Because winning gives you like more points than, than five killing five players, right? So, winning in whichever way is one point. Thank you. Teal has no food production. I mean, Teal... Uh, wait. Wait, how is his resources this low? Wait, is this all his resources? Yo, if he shoots with Mangano there... Oh, he doesn't see... Oh! No! No! No, not there! Shoot the chair! Shoot the chair! Oh la la, oh la la. Wait, Teal's got like no resources by the way. Green? Uh, Green has the same amount of resources. Uh, and this wonder doesn't really have a lot of stuff to it. It has a keep. Two keeps, and that's it. I think green can win, by the way. Somehow, I think green can win. And I actually think, I know, I think I know who the, who the green player is. I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a guess who the green player is. Before the game ends. Because there is, I might be wrong by the way, but there is one player that loves to just spawn in the middle, get fishes or big golds, and then just mass lancers. Because I've played every phase against him. And there's one player, obviously more players have done this in the past, but one player does this very often. 
And I have a feeling it's him. But we'll see. It is not over yet. We are still cooking. We are still cooking. Oh yeah, I need to give half a point each. Uh, to each of the gamers. Hmm. That player might not even be in the FFA. True. Here we go. The Rams are coming through. He's kind of fighting between two keeps and there's so much siege. Green might not have... Green has no wood, by the way. So as much as he has shit ton of units, he might not have enough siege to be beat this. There's seven mangonels. Yeah, he, he needs, like, um... He needs some kind of siege. Yeah, he realizes he's making six springles. But he needs siege desperately. Ooh, Fire Lancers are getting a couple of kills. Six mangonels now, and five springles. He needs, uh, he needs siege, otherwise the mangonels are gonna butcher his army, or he would need overwhelming amount of fire lancers, which he currently does not have. He's got a shit ton of gold, which he can produce any cannoneers, but he desperately needs more workers on wood. He needs that for sure. And this keep with arbalest and emplacements is doing a fuck ton of damage. Ten cannoneer- oh, no, no, no. One siege unit just dies, these guys are sniping mangoes from this side. El no sabe. Oh, never mind. And by the way, 11 minutes. And if you thought 7 minutes was long, 11 minutes is longer than that. Eleven minutes is even longer than that. That's right, quick math. Eleven bigger than seven. Boom. Checkmate, nerds. You guys didn't know that. Chat is like, whoa, is that true? Let me double check. Oh! Oh, damn! Oh, br oh brother! Five mangonels and five springles just plowing through. Fire Lancers on this side, I mean... Okay, he made a keep here to disrupt the trade. Which is a good move. But if we look... Teal right now got 77 villagers and 121 army. Which means that he has either lost all the trade or deleted all the trade. Keep is coming up. Keep is a good choice because Teal has no siege. And, and he does not see Kek W because of the little stealth forest. <laughs> so that's unfortunate for him. And uh, Green's landmarks are still on the mill cooking. Springles are coming in and this is good from Green. He's just saying, okay, let me hold up. He got 41 on wood right now. He's saying, let, listen, let's give me a moment. Let's wait. Right, let's let's take a breather. Let me make some siege. And right now, green has hundred villagers almost, and teal has seventy-eight. And he's got a lot of them idle somewhere. I don't know where the idols are, but a lot of the villagers are running around somewhere that I just saw that I've no idea. Oh, he's probably maybe he's been building walls. Oh, he's building walls like everywhere. Okay. But I gotta say, guys, I. I can see a very, very strong chance of green winning this. Nine minutes for wonder. That is a lot of time still. That is a lot of time. Yeah, he's got some fishing ships over here. Teal has none. These are not his fishing ships. Uh, siege? Oh, the teal doesn't see the... Oh no, he didn't see the thing. He just got a bunch of his siege sniped. Or at least a couple of them sniped. He needs a tower immediately. He needs to build a tower right here so he can get some vision. And now the only thing that Green needs is honestly... Uh, okay, he's making Lancers because he has a lot of gold. Yeah, Green has a lot of gold. He just needs Bombards or Trebs. My my opinion is that he doesn't... He, he can do without Trebs. He needs like 3-4 Bombards to just pummel this keep down. And he just needs Springles to snipe out the enemy Springles. And there we go. 
Teal has no vision, loses a Springle. I think he just lost one there. Or he might have been two. And green lost one as well. But green has way more Springles. He's got nine. So if he trades one for one, he doesn't care about that. And like I said, I don't think Teal realized where Green's base is at all. Otherwise, you would make your wonder instead of here, you would make it on the top, right? So there's further distance to push. Right now, Green has 134 army versus 136. That is mass royal knights. How many? 56 hand cannoneers, 12 spears, 13 lancers against 56 elite royal knights. The keep gets dented in in seconds. Green has way more spring holds. And I actually, I can't believe this, but both wonders will fail. I thought that the orange is going to win with the wonder for sure. One versus one and a half. Turns out green was actually a full player. And now one versus one, green will be beating teal if this push continues like this. Teal is trying to buy time, but there's seven minutes remaining. 6.30. The keep is going to go down. And by the way, this is uh, one army for Teal. That's it. If he loses this army, there's no remaking. He's got no resources. I mean, this is just... He's going to make like 20, 30 knights and 20, 30 horsemen, and that's it. And green is taking his sweet time. He's destroying the buildings. He's got two keeps. And after this... There's another keep being made, but the, the, the wonder is extremely, extremely close. Maybe he wants to pick up the pace a little bit. Just a tiny little... Speed up a little bit. 14 Springles for Teal right now. The fighting is happening, the Springled Micro is happening, but Teal, I think, has way more Springles. The Arbalest... Uh, are pumping from the top are pumping from the top and they are melting they can also deploy pavisa on the walls by the way for even more range and teal defense now the gate is being shot down he's trying to go around maybe snipe reinforcements the wonder is five minutes the wall goes down the pumping is happening. And I, I, you know, I was very optimistic for green, but now I'm looking at this and I'm not so sure anymore. I changed my mind about four times who's going to win this one. And now I'm going to say Teal is going to win this one. Five minutes remaining. Still plenty of time, right? But why were they shooting at the mining camp? They really hated that mining camp. Yeah, Teal was like, call an ambulance, but not for me. Oh, no, no, no. the bombards are going down. And another bombard might. No, nope. one bombard goes down. He is engaged. Yo, stop! Stop! What are you? Stop! Oh. Yo, he dented in that mining camp. He's beating a mining camp and he's shooting it again! Listen, I don't know if this is Green's fault or Game's fault, but I feel like the humans should not be attacking the mining camp. <laughs> People in the chat are saying that's core. Guys, stop. And Teal gets the W and will be getting extra two points right there for winning slash winning the, with Wonder. And there was one player remaining in the end. Now let me reveal. I think that Green is Puppy Pong. I am like pretty sure green is puffing ball, but we will see. So teal in the end had the most wood. Uh, green had hundred thousand food, eighty thousand gold, military kills. Green and teal had the most, followed up by orange. 
and I still don't know who the players are. So I'm about to ask the players to PM me on Discord who they were in the lobby and I'm gonna let you guys know in a second. The first player who was eliminated in that last lobby, Corvinus. Cor gets, Corvinus gets eliminated first and gets zero points. Player Easy. number two. Easy. Who got eliminated was purple, was English player who got eliminated by orange. Purple was Core W. No one guessed it. It is what it is. Core gets zero points. The third player who will who got eliminated was Pink. Pink player was Orc. Orc, if you guys maybe don't know him. In both of the FFA tournaments, I think in both of them, he has placed top eight. He is an FFA gamer. Orc was pink. He did not kill anyone. And he will be receiving zero points for the last game. Player number four and five were blue and yellow. The blue player was Zerton, another amazing FFA player. And Zerton, we said we're, gi we're giving half a point to Zerton and half a point for the yellow player for basically eliminating each other and Teal coming in and scooping the points. So Zerton will be receiving half a point for that game. The yellow player that was eliminated right after. So Zerton was fighting the whole game against yellow, which was Anochad. <laughs> AKA Anotand. Anotand will also be receiving half a point. And the player after that that got eliminated was Orange. Orange was one of the players that I had a suspicion it was him, but I wasn't sure. The Orange player is Wham. Wham has done quite a lot of damage to the lobby. I'm not gonna lie. He went around and just dented in people. And uh, he has gotten one point for eliminating purple, one point for eliminating pink, and that's it, if I am correct. Chat, you can correct me, but he has gotten two points. The player who has lost in the end to the wonder, but played a good game, and I was right, it was Poppy Paw. Because I've played enough FFAs with Poppy Paw to know that he loves to place his stuff in the middle and just make Lancers and go around and kill people. So the green player was Poppy Paw. And Poppy Paw will be getting half a point for eliminating orange. So green and teal will be getting half a point each for eliminating orange. And the last player who I threw in as a little bit of a wild card. You know, you might have not expected the last player. You don't know who the last player is. The last player who has won the game is Numudan, who has gotten two points from eliminating Red. He has gotten one point total for eliminating Yellow and Blue combined. He's got half point each from those. And he has gotten plus two points for winning in the end and technically eliminating green. So Numudan is right now on five points. Numu Chad. Now, some of the players were worried, oh, but now everyone's gonna focus Numudan. We're here to play FFAs and that's what we're going to do. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to host the second lobby. And with that being said, all the players know are who the players in the lobby are, but the players will not know who the players are in the next lobby because the callers will be once again random and the names will be hidden. If you're watching this on YouTube, this is game number one. Game number two is going to be coming up very shortly for the Twitch chat gamers.